So just before we speak in this tool, what we're going to do is we're going to grab these blocks, we're going to grab some polyphantites there, some green shock blocks, pink shock blocks, and some lanterns, or sea lanterns. Sea lanterns might be better, okay? So you want to grab them, and you also want to grab some sea lanterns, okay? And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take out these banners, and you're going to replace them with the shock boxes, because you'll find, you'll find out why later, and it looks a little bit better, I think. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab polyphantites upstairs, and we're going to place these on this... Um, uh, what do you call it? Platform. You just put it in the middle of the block away and it works quite nice. There's only one of them in here actually. And what you do is add a bit of lighting, okay? And all you want to use that is sea lanterns. And as you can see, it's got more dark down here since we began. And just add some sea lanterns in place that you want to add to me. All you do is just dig up the block and then just place it there like that. It sticks out a little bit, but that's fine. It makes it look a little bit better. You can place two above the door, in front of the door. Like that, and then you can place another two over this side where put this one's so this one's going from there to there. You do the exact same thing here where you're gonna go here to here, like that. Just fill up areas where it looks a bit dark, and that should be right now in here. And you just want to add a bit of lighting in that, and you can put them in here as well. It's a bit dark, and just put one in here, like that. And you just see the light actually lights up the floor a little bit underneath and then we've already got lights in there so you don't actually have to add any more up here um you can add another one in here if you wish just like that and then you can add another one in here and then you can add another one in here like that and then if you want you can add them in these floors, so there's not much here, is there? We can add them on every floor just to make it a little bit lighter, make it all continue through. But all you want to do really is just add light, lights where it looks a little bit too dark. I did this in the last video because I forgot. But you just want to put like three across and put one there. And then you want to go three across from the other side. I can't get up these stairs over there. Three across from this side, like that, and then put one there. Like that. There you go. That's not the level, is it? No. Do that, that, put that there. You guys, you can do that on every floor. It looks quite nice, it lights up the area. Um, what would two blocks away look like? So, if we went two blocks here, here, two blocks there, there. What was that? That looks a little bit better because they're a little bit more separated. So, I think I'm going to do that one instead. So, I'm going to move them across by one to here. And you see, just adding a little bit of light in him, just lighting up the room, lighting up the hallways and the rooms a little bit more, and then we can get on with the actual cafeteria. So we can just head up one more floor, do these last top two floors. So I'm going to leave a gap of two, put a light there, and leave a gap of two, put a light there. Don't really have to put any light over there because we can if you want. If you want to put a couple of lights here, feel free. Um, you can go up here, place a light here, wasn't it? Yeah, there's a light there, and then you can place a gap of two, put two there, and then a gap of two from here, and put two there, like that. And then, once you've got that, you could you just got like a little lighting in there. I'm sure I these last few lights over here. Don't add an excess amount of lights because they're sea lanterns and they look really, really, really chunky. When you had too many, but just add enough just to light up the areas, make it look a little bit brighter in here. And then once you've done that, you can we can move on to the next floor, which I will get show you the materials for, and it's going to be on this pink floor now, or the magenta floor even. And it's going to be the cafeteria that goes in here. This is another one of the smaller floors of the next two, going to be longer in the longer builds. So I'm going to go grab the last these materials for this, and I'll show you how to build it. The blocks you're going to be needing for this are going to be crimson planks, magenta concrete, white terracotta, brown carpet, smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz slab, oak wood stairs, polished andesite, glass furnace, lodestone, birch button, polished blackstone button, light blue stained glass, white carpet, dark oak wood slab, spruce fence, and spruce pressure plate. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to come down to this door and with your crimson planks. Okay? And the first thing you want to do is place a crimson, so we're going to work around this way, okay? So we're going to place a crimson plank this side on the blue terracotta, not on the grey, place it on the blue terracotta here. 
You can then place another two and then stick out the middle one by one. You can leave a gap of two here. You can leave a gap of two and then place another one. And then you can place another five after that. So it's going to be one, one, two, three, four, five. And you can stick it out by one again. Then you can place two bar, one, two. And then you can diagonally from that, you can place three. That's going to be one, two, three. And you can stick it out again. And then you're going to go five. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Stick it out again. Three. And then you're going to do diagonally two. And stick out again. And you're going to do five. Here he is, five. Yep, so you're going to do five here. One, two, three, four, five. Stick it out. Just it won't line up with that one, but it'll line up with the end there. You've got to do another five. One, two, three, four, five. Stick out again. And you've got to do another five. One, two, three, four, five. And stick it out. That was five I did that in, wasn't it? Yeah. And one, two, three, four, five, yeah. And then you've got to do two. One, two. And then you've got to do diagonally. One, two, three. And then you've got to stick it out. And you've got to do five. One, two, three, four, five. Stick it out. One, two, three. Go diagonally. One, two. Out and then do one, two, three, four, five, and it's just going to perfectly to that corner. And that's going to be the size of your cafeteria. Okay? The walls now can be extended up all by magenta concrete. Magenta, no, okay, so you can white wall, wall everywhere on the wall. You can place um, white terracotta, and then we'll build up again. the white terracotta first and on top of the white terracotta you're going to do crimson planks like that and then you've got to do crimson planks on top of all of this just like this put along there back here put along back here place them on these pillars And then place it going back here, and then go back here, and do that. You don't want to go above where the elevator is going to be. You don't want to put anything above there. And then you've got that. That is going to be your wall done. The next thing you can do is you can grab your magenta concrete, and in every five, so like this, this five here, this five, this six. But you want to leave the end block here. You want to leave the end block, and then you want to count these five. Okay, you want to place one there. And you do want to place one on the centre one and one on that centre one over there, okay? You just want to place one on the back wall, okay? There's not many you've got to place just on the back wall and the front wall. You don't want to place any on the sides, you'll see why in a little while. The next thing we're going to do now is we're going to grab our magenta cream white terracotta again, and we're going to make the floor, okay? Now, all we want to do is just put a piece of magenta concrete and white terracotta, okay? And you want to make the Pattern a two by two check pattern. So you want to make sure it goes. Put some stuff on. So you want to make sure it's going to go. In a second, because it's a little bit confusing this corner here. Though. You want to make sure that it's going to go like this. So you want to place it in a two by two. See what I mean? It's going to go together and it's not going to hurt your eyes because there's not much stuff in this section other than the other two sections. And the other two sections gets rid of the check of a lot more so I made it like one by ones but in this section it's like there's hardly anything on the floor so it'll hurt your eyes if we made it just normal because if you're trying to fill up all of this with the check pattern I'm not gonna keep this on recording so I will finish this all off and I'll show you what you, what you, what you guys what it look like afterwards after I've done the floor So what you want to do then, you want to grab your andesite block and you want to also place them behind the elevator here. Or the elevator. And I think we are done with these materials now, so I think we can chuck away these materials. We're going to grab our next set, which is now going to be lodestone, 
birch button, black stone button, light blue glass, white carpet, dark oak slab, spruce fence, and some um, spruce pressure plate, okay? You don't need the blast first, so I'll grab the chocolate away. And what you want to do now is you want to grab your lodestone, and where this block is, we have the extra. Get rid of it as white terracotta and place a lodestone there. That's going to be like the lift where you put the key in, okay? Because I believe you started from this floor and the top floor, so that's where you're going to put the key in. You're going to place a birch button on this andesite block there, and you want to place a blackstone button on this elevator there. You can place carpet on this on the window sills here, like that, and then you can place light blue glass behind it and outside. And you'll see what effect this gives in a second. So if you do it there and then you do it on this side as well, place white carpet there, and then place light blue glass on there. And when you look through the window, it looks really, really thin, which is how it looks. It looks look really, if I get rid of that there, it looks really, really, really thin. You can't see out of that side, you can't see out of that side. And then that's how it looks in the real game, so that looks pretty good. Um, the last thing I want to do now is the tables, okay? And the tables are going to be placed, so I'm going to look at it this way. The first table is going to be placed here, okay? So it's going to be placed in the corner of this magenta. If you did this floor pattern the same as me, you can place it in the corner of this magenta. So if you, if you want to do the floor pattern the same, make sure you get the magenta out the door looking like that, okay? Once you get that, you've got everything right. And you, what you want to do is place a dark oak in this corner here. Leave a gap of one. Place a spruce fence and then a spruce pressure plate. What? So once you've filled up all of this, you should have that. And what you want to do next, you want to put smooth court stairs and smooth court slab. Okay, and what you want to do here is you want to, so on this back wall here, you want to place smooth court stairs. I'm just trying to work this out. I'm going to put the picture up to the down and see it forward. There we go. And what you want to do is you want to go from this block here, so you want to go one block away, so it's going to be from this block here to the center block here, so it's going to be five blocks long, and it's going to go from there to there with quartz slab on top, okay? And then you want to place Another one that's going to be the same length, so it's going to go from there to there, and it's going to have smooth quartz slab on. Just going to create two of them things that look like that. Um, they're going to be like what's the food in that, okay? And then what, next thing we're going to do is going to grab our magenta and white terracotta, and on this side we're going to place from the it's also hard to work out. Um, from this side here to that side there, and then it's going to be. Have a look, I'm trying to get a bearing tray. So that's that side, yeah? Oh, that's that side, okay. So you want to go from two blocks away from there to there, okay? So you want to go from there to there, and then you want to alternate between magenta and white terracotta, okay? Like that. Just like that, there you go. And you want to do the same thing here as well, so you're going to go. Here you want to just put magenta on the end, and then put another magenta on the end there, and then you want to put whites, and then alternate between magenta and white. And then you want to place brown carpet on top of that, just like that. And you want to place next, break out these white terracottas on the front wall, five, the front main five, and the back main five, just like that, just for the time being. And then on this side, the closest, so the side with the elevator on it, you want to place a gel, a um, thing here of oak stairs, and actually you've got the oak slabs. So you want to create a, what would you call it, I've forgotten what you call it now, a bench with oak, an oak bench with an andesite on top like that. And then a furnace, block furnace on the other side in the middle. What? With a dark oak um, slab behind it, so it should be like that. The next one we're going to place is going to be so in, you see these two centers, what center ones here. These two center, this or there's one center that's not touched by anything else yet. And what you want to do is on this magenta, on this white terracotta in the center, place a brown uh, slab there. This corner of the white terracotta, this corner of the white terracotta, and that corner of the white terracotta with a spruce and a spruce pressure plate in the middle 
And you've got to place one more table which is going to go from this corner of the white terracotta to this corner of the white terracotta here with a spruce fence and a spruce pressure plate. And if you want, that's what it's going to look like. And that is going to be your cafeteria actually completed already. And what you want to do is a ceiling, and I'm going to show you how to make that in a minute. I've just got to get a picture of it, and I'll show you how to make this ceiling. So the blocks you are going to need for the ceiling are going to be white terracotta, brown terracotta, and sea lantern, okay? And what you're going to do is the white terracotta, you're just going to place it above the elevator gap, just like that. Just to get you started, place it above the elevator gap, and give yourself a nice square then, okay? And what you want to do now is you want to place one row around the entire of white terracotta, it goes above the pillars, see, so it just goes right above the pillars, one row of white terracotta, all the way around, like this is a pattern. It's like, like a lot thinner in a real game, but this is the best I could create. And it's all the way back to there. And the next bit you can place is a row of brown terracotta. So over this. Going all along here. And then down here. And then connect back to the other side. And then we want to place two rows of white terracotta inside. Now, so you can like this instead. Just put two in and do it from the side as well. This will look a little bit like this. There you go, and then you just want to do this on all four sides. Two rows of that. And then you can place one more row like that. Like that. Actually, we'll move the space up with the white cut, so we'll finish up to here. Then we can do the white terracotta like that. And then you do is get the sea lanterns, and you've got to place these. So you've got to place one is going to go. So the first two sea lanterns are going to go one block away from either one of these. You're going to place three rows in the middle like that. So we've got the sea lanterns in the middle light, centre lights. The other ones are going to go from the back of these. So you're going to go from the back of the sea lanterns, go across. On both sides, so it's going to go there and there. Quite simple, and then back here as well. And then back here as well. The next ones are going to go in the centre here. So you're going to go to here. And two here. And then the next ones are going to go in the very centre of this. So there's this exact centre block in here. You'll be able to see it's quite simple. It's going to be literally if you just go two blocks away from each sea lantern, and then there's a centre block. Do them there, and that's going to give you a pattern. Now, if we go inside of the cafeteria, go down here. If we go inside of the cafeteria down here, there you have it. That is what your cafeteria will look like once it's been completed. And what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to the green floor up here, and we will begin work on that floor, which is going to be a lot longer than this one, but for it. So we'll begin on the green floor now. So to begin this next floor, the blocks you're going to need are going to be green concrete, quartz bricks, light blue stained glass, light grey concrete, cyan terracotta, black concrete, quartz stairs, polished andesite um, stairs, stripped birch wood, stripped oak wood, stri um, spruce wood, planks, button, flower pot, orange tulip, blue orchid, red concrete, iron door, turret wall, light grey shock box and light blue shock box. And what I've also noticed is if you wish, in the same place, you can actually replace the white concrete with quartz brick and it gives a way better texture to it rather than the white concrete. You can compare it there. I think it just looks way better and it fits in more with the quartz bricks because it looks like bricks. I look proper. It looks better than the um, white concrete. But that's completely your choice. If you don't want to change it, don't change it. But um, I probably should have done that from the beginning, but I only just realised it. So I'm going to be using that now because it looks a lot better. What we're going to do is we're going to go down to this green floor now. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab our green concrete. And we're going to do the same thing we did down here. We're just going to get the wall shape first and then we'll build up the walls, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to go this way around again. So we're going to start on this side. And we're going to go by free green again. And then you're going to do that. And then. You're going to leave a gap of two and place a green concrete there, okay? 
I, I thought that this elevator didn't line up with the other ones, but obviously it does. Hmm, weird. I, I thought that the you know, one that I did it didn't line up, but that's alright. Okay, and then you've got to do, after you've done them three, left the gap two, you want to do another three here. So it's one, two, three. Stick one there. Wait, no, just do two like that, and then stick one on each and place five, okay? One, two, three, four, five. You then want to place one more on the end, come forward by one, go to the side again by one, and then come forward by, and this one's going to be three, that's going to be come forward by one, two, three, and then you're going to come forward by an additional five, one, two, three, four, five, and then you're going to go by another one, okay? And you're going to stick the next one out, and then you're going to place five again, okay? One, one, two, three, four, five. Then we stick it out by one. Place another five. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Stick it out by one. Then you're going to place um, four. So it's going to be placed one, two, three, four. Then place an additional one and come in by one. Then go back out again okay so you're baking that shape again and then you make this one by five so it's one two three four five okay you then want to go out diagonally like this and you want to follow back from this block by um nine okay so you want to go back to this by nine so you've already got one now two three four five six seven eight nine and on a ninth block you want to come forward by one and then go backwards by one again and then come forward along the back by eight. Okay, so we one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then go by an additional one. Come forward by one. Go backwards by one. And then go. I'm just trying to figure this out right now. Uh, go one, two, three, four, five, six. Go nine forward again, that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you should line up with that. Wait a minute, no, eight even. So come forward by eight, you've already got the one there. Is that right? Hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay. One, two. That's right, that's right, okay. And then you want to do the same thing here, where you're going to poke it out but like this. And you come back off this wall by, so you're going to make it five again. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Then you're going to place a diagonal coming inwards. It's probably easier to do it like that. Go in again. Then off this block, you want to go by four again. One, two, three, four. Then you want to stick it out. Then do two more fives. One, two, three, four, five. Take it out and then do one, two, three, four, five. Take it out and do one, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And you'll see that line up perfectly with that side there. You want to do two diagonals coming towards the wall. It's going to be one and then the next one connect to the wall. That's two. And you want to make that five, so it's one, two, three, four, five. And then you want to stick one out and then put one in there like that. Okay, so you should have that will be your shape, the shape of this. And if you actually look on top, the next floor above this, it's like that. It's like in reverse. It's like this fit shape in reverse with them rooms at the front. And it's it's really really odd. It's the it way would be a weird shape. Anyway, the next thing we want to do now is we want to create these rooms at the back here okay and they're not hard to make really they're quite simple to be honest and if, what we want to do is we want to so we're going to start with this room here okay and we want a doorway on the second block after this thing here so it's going to be on that block there and we want to have a crouch block on the second block away from the so it's going to be here okay and what we want to do now is we want to there should be four in between now. I'm just trying to figure this out again. Um, 
do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It should be 10 rows, 10 blocks along this until there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9. I can't have got it to meet up correctly then, that's weird. Because well, that one has gone far enough. See it go? It should be in total. This is where I get confused now, I'm getting confused again. We've got, this, we've got to make sure this row in total is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm confused again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This row should be 10 in total. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's where I've gone wrong. There. So got to, you've got to place one extra row on top of on the end of here now. So, okay, so you've got to do that. Connect it along here. I make these tools so confusing. Place that there. Place a crouch spot there. No, place the crouch spot there, keep the crouch spot there. And then we've got to connect that diagonally. Is that correct? I about that doesn't look correct. It's got to go like that, isn't it? Yeah. And in the middle, there should be 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There we go. So, you want that, okay? That's really confusing. I've just confused you all so much then, I should think. But you want to just do that. So, you've got a crouch spot on the door. And then what you want to do is you want to. Extend from the back here. Okay, so you want to fill up that gap and then you want to extend from the back by six. One, two, whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you want to go diagonally from that. And then you want to place a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, ten. You want one here, that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then it can connect to this bit here, and now we know we've got it correct. If it connects to that bit, you've got it correct. Okay, and that's going to be that room there. This room here is pretty much the exact same shape. So what you're going to do is come off of this corner here, so you want to fill it up, and then you want to place six off here. So it's going to be one, is it six? Wait a minute, one, two, three, four. Alright, I nearly caught myself out there, didn't I? So from here, it's got to be seven. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Isn't seven on the other side? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Place seven, and then from the seventh block, because I did the diagonal on the last one, so place six again, then do a diagonal, and then place two, three, four, five, six, one, eight, nine. Place nine, so it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and it'll connect diagonally to that. That's where that's what I did on this one. So I did each room in a different shape. But once you've got that, it should all connect together. Then you see. So if you did that by ten, it would look the exact same thing because it would just connect like that. So let's just make sure they both look the exact same like that. Okay, that was very confusing. It was more confusing than it should have been. But what you can do now is you can place. The flooring, I think I'm going to do first. Actually. I think I'm going to do the flooring first. And how are you going to do the flooring? Is you're going to place so to do it, get this exact same as mine, so that you can follow by what I say. Put a light grey in between the door, okay? And this one's going to be single. This is what's going to take a long while now. This one's going to be single block, okay? This is going to be literally single um, checkers. And this will take you quite a while to complete because there's actually so much space in here and you've got to do this with the top the floor above this as well so this is very time consuming better if you do it two rows at a time it's easier to fill up than it is to place because when you've done the first color and when you've done the second color it's a lot fit quicker but obviously i'm not going to put this on camera because this is going to take way too much time i'm going to do this last show and then i'll show you what you've got to do So once you've got that and you want to do the second cut, we'll just fill in between your energy. It's a lot faster to fill in than it is to place. You've got to work it out when you place, when, you don't, when you're not placing, when you're not just placing them for the first time. Well, that doesn't make sense. When you're, fit, when you're filling them up with the other colour, it's a lot quicker because you've got to With the other one, you've got to try and work it out sometimes. It gets a little bit confusing, but as you can see, quicker fill it up. With the other colour. 
afterwards. And then once you've done that, it'll look like that. And then you want to do that all the way back, okay? And do that all the way back and in these two rooms as well. And then I'll come, I'll show you what that'll look like when it's done. So once you've filled up all of that area, you have this, okay? Quite nice. It looks very nice. But the door and the crouch block go the exact same place on this wall as well. So you just have to do that and fill up in them rooms as well. And then once you've done that, it will look like this. The next step we're going to do now is okay, we're going to grab quartz bricks. We're going to place quartz bricks on top of the green concrete. And then on top of the concrete, we're going to place quartz wall. Um, on top of the quartz wall, I mean, we're going to place green concrete. Okay, we'll do that when we're done all of this stuff. So. So you're going to place it everywhere, place quartz wall, okay? The crouch will go on that side of the wall, so you can place it in there. Placing quartz bricks everywhere where there's green concrete. So you, afterwards, you won't see any green concrete facing upwards, okay? And then, thing, and then after this, we can build the rooms and add the decoration, which will be the easier bit. Okay, and and then you're going to do this bit here as well. Put the crouch block. And then in here. And then once you've done that, you will have something that looks like that and it looks quite nice. And then you're going to place a row of green concrete on top of it here now, okay? And we don't want to go above the elevator again. We just want to do it everywhere. Above the wall now. And then above the... So any bit you want to open now will be above the elevator. Everything else you want to be green. Concrete, okay. So it's not too hard this bit. Put everywhere. This little room here, and then you, like I said, you want to go above the door like that. And then you want to do this go all the way from here, connecting back to this door, but going above, it, and then just not going above the elevator. Top these pillars. Place a quartz brick there that I just broke. You can place it above these pillars, place it above these pillars, like that. And then you've just got to do it over this room here, and done that. You'll have your walls done, so about that doorway, there we go. Now once you've done that, you now have your walls done, they're all completed, and that's your area. There are some windows we have to add, I'll show you where you've got to add them. So on the back wall here, on the very back wall, this small wall here, we want to, from this corner, you want to add three, so the three on either side and then leave the two in the middle and you want to place the same thing we did last time but we're going to place glass one row behind you don't want the white carpet on there this time you just want to place it one row behind like that so you've got that and on this wall here you want to leave a gap of three from the side towards the elevator so it's going to be a gap of three and you want one two three four five so you've got a gap of one on the other side you can sit directly above the cafeteria window on either side so as you see it sits the cafeteria window and here as well. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five. And then you want it to go exactly above the cafeteria window, and then you've got that, and that's going to be all the windows completed. Now we're going to add this black concrete, okay? And there's quite a bit of this we've got to add. So if we start from this side, you want to add one on these two rows of five. So one in the middle of these two rows of five here, just like that. You want to add one on either side now, where these five are. So these two sets of five, you want to place one black concrete on either side. You want to do that on there, and then you want to do one here and one there. You don't want one on them, and then you want to also play one and on here. And I believe that is it for the black concrete. It's it for the black concrete. I'll do the rooms, they've got more black concrete on them. Now, that, um, I think so. The way these rooms are now they're a little bit difficult to place, and we've got to just try and figure this out, okay? And what you want to do is from the this pillar, so this first pillar elevates so this one right on the end. You want to leave a gap of four, so you want to leave a gap of four and put the green concrete, okay? You extend that across by one and go diagonally upwards. You can extend it this one, this block here backwards by one, two, six. Okay, so you've already got one there, I think. Seven. You've already got the one there. One, two, three, four, five, six. You've already got the 
one. So seven in seven row in total. And you want to place another concrete going diagonally. Okay. And then you want to place down from this. Thirty. Uh, one second. Twelve. So you want to make it a row of twelve. So you've already got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Go diag diagonally this way, and then go across like this until it will meet up to that one, and then you to this back wall here, just like that. And then you can place another one in the corner there like that. Now what we want to do is we want to leave a gap of two between each one of these walls, okay? So each one of these blocks here you want to leave a gap of two. And then you want to create the same shape again. So you now want to go seven here, so it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more that you can then build Quite easy, connect them there. There's one in the corner there, and then that you have both of your rooms looking the exact same. And now you can place quartz brick on top of these and create the same as, as a wall on the outside around the outside. Which will fill up all of this just like this, and all the way back. There you go. Then placing it here as well, going all the way back. And then after we've done this, we can then start on the decoration in there, okay? I'm going to connect that back like that. This one here, you want to do here, and then go back across. Then go across here as well. Go back there. Do that, and then do that. Okay. And then do the other room. So it doesn't take very long to do this. Then you want to do the same pattern. So once you're done, you should have that. Okay, and that looks quite nice. The rows of black concrete you want to be on the front and the back. Okay, front and the back here, in the very centre. Okay, so there's one there, and one. We'll see one there. Okay. Once you've got that, I keep destroying stuff. Once you've got that on both sides, that will be them room walls done. We've got around the door and the crouch on each one of them. The door on this side is going to be right here. So on the Mimi's room, which is this room here, so I'm looking at it at this angle here. Yeah? On Mimi's room, we want the doorway to be on the fourth block. Okay, on the fourth block going this way, so it's one, two, three. So on that block there, you want the doorway, and then the crouch what you want to be on the this block here. Okay. The pony's room, we want it to be on the one, two, four block as well. It's one, two, three, four block is a doorway, and then this one here as well is the crouch block, okay? So it's really easy. And then once you've got that, that'll be the rooms done. We can now do the decoration, okay? We've got some decoration here. So what we're going to do is, first thing we're going to do is go and grab walk stairs, okay? And there's only one place, two places we want to place these. The first place is going to be on this back wall. If you turn yourself around and then go to this back wall, place two warp stairs. Here. Well, actually, there's three warp stairs. Place three warp stairs there, and then over here, place two warp stairs on the back wall. So you should have that. I'll just give you a quick overview. You should have that for the way the warp stairs are going to go. Um, the andesite, polished andesite stairs. There's only one place these go, and that is right in the front. Okay, so right. Um, in the front over here, in front of the elevator, we want to add here. So we want to add it right here. We want to go one, two, three, just like that. And then you want to come back by two. You've got that right in the middle of that hallway there. You then want to place a strip of birch wood on there, like that. Okay, and that's going to be that, um, that's going to be like a trolley with a box on it. And that's all we need them materials for. Okay, next materials are going to go around those and be stripped oak wood. Spruce wood planks, button, flower pot, orange tulip, blue orchid, red concrete, iron door, and diorite wall. Okay, and we're now going to grab.
grab our strip oak wood and we'll work through these one by one. Our strip oak wood, we're going to put two rows in the center there. And we're also going to put, so if you look in front of Pony's room here, you want to put one in the very center and on this cyan concrete, cyan terracotta there, okay? Spruce wood planks. There's a lot of these we want to place. We want to place one in front of these blacks on it, both sides. We want to place one on the front of the blacks and then one there, okay? I'll give you a quick overview of I've done the, this side as well. So I'm going to place one here, one, no, wait a minute, one there, one there. And you don't want one there because of that this time. So you, that's where you want the spruce blocks. I don't think there's any more. No, so that's where you want the spruce blocks. You can put a few in this room over here actually while we've got them. So in this room here, in two in the center on either side, so there's only two there, and then there's going to be two there as well. You just want the same thing on either side, and then you can place buttons. Now you can grab buttons, and you can place buttons on the cabinet, front of the cabinets, just like this. They're quite easy to add, just go in front of the cabinet, place buttons. Like that. There's two more over the other side. So that, and I did actually love the not use other material, all the other materials. Flower pots we can place on top of some of these cabinets, and also some diorite walls that we're going to place in a minute. Okay. And what we want to do is we want to, and we haven't actually finished with the andesite either. Whoops, we forgot a few materials, didn't we? What we want to do is we want to place flower pots on the. So on this side of the three cabinets, we want to place one on the. One on the two on the outside, but not on the middle one. Okay, so you want to place one there and one there. This one with a blue orchid and this one with an orange tulip. The other one, so this one over here, can be filled up with just the blue orchid on towards the back. Okay, the one we don't want. We want to place some diorite walls. Either side of this sofa, okay. So in the middle of these things here, you want to place one there, flower pots on them, and then in this, you want to put a blue orchid on this side and an orange or tulip on that side. You can place two flower pots on the window on the outside, so you can put an orange tulip and an orchid, and you can rotate them on this. You can put a orchid on this side. The tulip on the other side, so you want to place on the outside of either, win either window. Outside the rooms, you want to place diorites on either side, like this, with flower pots on them. And then you can place in front of Pony's room an orange tulip and an orchid, and then in this one, you can place an orchid and an orange tulip, just do whatever you want. And then what you can do is so that's what you're going to have at the moment. I'll give you a quick overview again of what it's going to look like. You can also place a spruce block. We haven't actually finished with it in the back of this room here, right in the centre like that with all buttons on it as well. It's quite a simple one to place there. The next block is going to be red concrete. And red concrete and iron doors. These are the last two blocks of this section. And what we want to do is we want to place one right here, okay? We're going to place one right here. It's going to go on these two blocks here in front of this cabinet, and you want to place iron doors that side and an iron door that side. You don't want to fill up with anything. That's just going to go there. Just for that. Um, the other one, there's three in this. And this one is going to go here in front of Mimi's room this side, and you want to place it right there. I'll give you another overview of what it's going to look like so you can place them. And then you want to place. And the one with the actual stuff in it, we want to place. You know, so we want to go in front of this direct wall, and you want to leave a gap of one, two, three. Dig up two. Place the red concrete there. Place iron bars either side like that, and then we'll fill that up in a little while. The next blocks we can grab now are going to be. Now I'm going to quickly get you to grab these blocks before we do anything else now. And you're going to grab and inside stairs, green concrete and quartz bricks and if you want you can grab your brown terracotta as well 
we actually grab the other material as well, which we like grey shelf box and light blue shelf box. And that's what you want to place in the um in this thing. All you want to do is just place a light grey shelf box this side and a light blue shelf box that. So that's for the suitcases again. The andesite is going to go in this corridor here, which we actually forgot to add earlier. Um, in front of Pony's room, it's going to sit right here, so it's going to go there to there, just like that. Okay, another overview of that. Um, green concrete. Okay, we're going to work our way around now. There's pillars we have to add. Some are broken, some are not. Okay, and we want to place a pillar here. Okay, so we want to place a pillar one green, and you want to place a quartz, and you want to place a green on the floor there. Okay, you could if you wish. Now, this is completely your choice if you want to do this, but you could, if you wish, place brown terracotta on the top, okay? Now, in the actual one, there is brown terracotta on the top of um, the pillars, but I thought that I wouldn't be able to add it because they're a bit too big to make up, to make up too much space. But if you actually just make them two, two each, it looks a little bit better. You also want to place um, the next one, so if we work our way around. We want to place the next pillar on the other opposite side, but this one we want to be work this one we want to actually be standing up, okay? And you want to sit right in here, quartz and then green, okay? Um the next pillar we want to have is going to be in this area. So this section here has a lot of broken pillars, okay? The first one is just going to be a random block. Okay, this one's going to be a random block sitting on this cyan here, okay? It's going to sit on that cyan there. And then we want diagonally from this a quartz brick and a green concrete. And then we want a standing one. So it's going to be that, that, and that. And then we want one laying down off this cyan here, like that. And then we want one standing up here. Just like that, okay? There we're going to be all the pillars. They're a huge mess. We could, if we want, add like a brown terracotta there. We could add a brown terracotta there as well. Just show that there what the pillars actually look like completed. Um, That is the pillars done. That is everything there done. What we're going to do now, before we move on to the decorative rooms, is we're going to add brown terracotta on top of everything that's green, okay? All of the green you want to terracotta this is going to be where the roof is going to sit off of and you'll see a little bit later but first thing you want to do is just literally place terracotta everywhere along here and coming down here as well and down here and then connect it the and then place it on the pillars here just like that Place it on these pillars, place it on the lift. the lift. This one you do want to go above the lift because the lift is going to be really, really, really high. Um, you want to put the all green. And it will look a lot better later when we add the half, half block kind of. It'll look a lot better then. Green, you just want to place brown. Terracotta everywhere. Keep repeating myself. Probably shouldn't. Terracotta everywhere. After this, we can decorate the last few rooms. It won't take all that long, to be honest. You just want to connect all of this together like that. Once you've done that, that is going to be all of the terracotta on top completed. The next bit you want to do now is going to be the this room here, okay? And what you want to do is you want to grab out these materials I'm going to grab here. So I'm not going to cut or anything. I'm just going to grab out these materials because there's not many you just want to grab out smooth um, normal quartz block you just want to grab block quartz and normal quartz stairs you want to grab item frame you want to grab light blue glass pane you want to grab red wool okay so you want to make sure you're grabbing red wool you want to grab brown carpet you want to grab um, never brick fence. You want to grab. That's it. Okay, so that's what you want for the first room. And all you want to do is in this corner place two quartz blocks, and in this corner here place two block quartz blocks in the middle. 
place court stairs on top and then place um item frames here with light blue glass in the middle place red wall going from here to there so you want to create two by four like that place never brick stairs on either side we're also going to need a bit of string so grab yourself a little bit of string i don't know where you find string there is grab yourself a little bit of string put that here and then place brown carpet on top of all of that and that's the first room completed pretty easy the second room here is not very hard either you just want to grab so you can enter, you can check away all these materials i just think yeah all you want to do is now grab black a lot of black stone in this room the first thing you want to do is grab gray wool you want to grab gray wool grab some black stone slabs and blackstone stairs you want to grab black normal blackstone stairs normal blackstone stair slabs and you also want to grab polished blackstone slabs okay and you also want to grab some iron bars and that'll be it so you just want to grab some iron bars there then you want to place um and this was really hard to create i found this really really hard to create but i've like found a two by two of this is like it was what was an exercise bike i believe just want to place a two by two like gray there with the apple one place another two by two like that and then you want to place iron bars on the back there both sides and then place a polished blackstone slab there and there i don't know how it looks like it but i just tried and then you want to place a two by four here of gray wool just like this with two running machines on it which are to look like just slabs just two slabs like that you're going to place blackstone stairs you want to place four blackstone stairs in between these the doorway and the um thing and then you want to place blackstone slabs on top and that's going to create your gym area and then we can move on to Pony and Mimi's room. We'll start Mimi's room. And we're going to grab out some. So in Mimi's room, we're going to grab out some purple carpet. Actually, first we're going to grab out some purple wool. We're going to grab out some spruce um, stairs and some spruce slabs. We're going to grab out and site you're going to get some crimson button you're going to get quartz slabs or smooth quartz slabs even you're going to get purple carpet You're going to get some magenta shulker box. Or actually, I think in this one you should get a no normal shulker box and a light grey shulker box. And then you want some spruce wood again, so we've already got that. And then you also want to grab out some spruce trapdoors. And then what you want to do is you want to place some spruce so in the very center of the back here you want to place some spruce stairs place leave a gap so leave a gap of one and then place another set of spruce stairs here and then again leave a gap of one place another set of, um, set of spruce stairs and you can fill that up with spruce slabs place three spruce um, quartz blocks at the back and place purple carpet on front and the top of this and then place on to so destroy this front one and then place a purple safe on there that is for mimi safe sits on her bed and then you're going to have to place um so from this light gray and then forward until it hits, goes under her bed like this you're going to create a purple rug like this 
So we'll go like that. And then you want to place a light grey shulker box on the end block here. And a purple shulker box one block away from there. And then you want to place some spruce block going here. And also a spruce block on the back there. And then you want to grab out the spruce trap doors. And you want to place the spruce trap doors going off this light grey here in front of the crouch spot. Oops, going off this light grey here from the crouch spot. Can't actually reach it. Show that with that. Off this light grey, you want to place one, two, three doors. Close them, do that. And you want to place off this light grey here. Also, trap doors, one, two, three. Do, all that, do that to all of them, and then in between, on the lower half of each block, place spruce trap doors like that, okay? You can grab back that, place them back, and then once you've got that, that will be Mimi's room, and then you could go to Pony's room, okay? And also what you can do, if you wish, is grab that black carpet, and because this one was where there's fire in it, in the actual map, it looks burnt under the ground, so you open it, place black carpet there if you wish. Pony's room. Pony's room, you want to place some you can get rid of everything now pretty much get rid of everything we're going to start fresh here we're going to grab the spruce trap doors back again the spruce blocks we're going to need again we're going to need orange wool and this one we can actually use normal beds so we can grab brown bed you're going to grab orange wool whatever that is we're going to grab orange wool we're going to grab orange shulker box and a green shulker box. Grab an orange and green shulker box. You're then going to grab a so that is it for pony's room actually. That is it for pony's room. And what you're going to do now is you're going to place in the front. So on the front bit here on this yeah the front wall front room wall of this room which is this room here wall here you want to place one of them and then you also want to place one on the proper front wall of this room right there okay and then you want to place door going there and uh two beds i mean going there and there you can then place orange wall going from this light gray to this cyan and then three blocks in between each of them leaving them one just up in between and then fill up either side of that and then place orange going from there and then a green there and then you want to place a cabinet off this wall here and this one's a little bit of a different cabinet and you're going to place it so it's going to go off this light gray again though you want to make sure it's going off this light gray you want to go here as well you want to place one two three turn them all on and then you want to connect it to the wall but don't place the spruce trap on the wall so it's just going to connect to the wall like that and you can fix this bit here and that is pony's room completed and that will be your entire green floor complete now what we're going to do is you're going to now grab spruce or not spruce sorry you're going to grab i don't know what came to my head when i said spruce you're going to grab smooth quartz stairs smooth quartz slab i mean and you want to fill up everything on the top half of the block in this section with smooth quartz slab okay we're going to fill up everything in this section with smooth quartz on the roof okay three room in between same material we're going to fill up this entire area with smooth quartz okay make sure you get the better texture when it gets smooth smooth one thing you do want to do before we move on though is just place andesite blocks here okay so we're going to go into me room and grab the andesite block um where is it there grab the andesite block and then all you want to do is place andesite block behind the elevator door right here and then just like that okay and you want to fill up the rest of the roof now with smooth quartz slab i'm not going to get this on camera because again it's going to be a very long I'm going to fill up everything here with your smooth quartz slab. So once you, can, once you fill up all of that, it will look something like this. It will look very nice. 
go down here and then into the green area. And there we are, there's an until you add the next rule. So if you want to add seat lights yourself, you can. Um, I'm not going to. But yeah, it's quite, it's quite dark when you um, close it up above. So you've got to add um, brown terracotta here above these pillars. Like that, and then place them there as well. And then once you've got that, that'll be your entire area done, as you can see, I've done it here as well. And I've done it in there as well, like that, okay? So once you've done that, we can move on to the next floor. I'll show you what the blocks you need, and we'll get on with it. So what we want to do is we want to come down to this for the floor, the box we're going to need first. This is going to be for the main walls and the decoration around the outside of it, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to grab red never brick, birch banks, brown terracotta, white terracotta, red concrete, iron door, polished andesite stairs, stripped birch wood, stripped spruce wood, not stripped spruce wood, just spruce wood planks, button, flower pot, blue orchid, birch trap door, smooth red sandstone stairs, instone brick wall, and orange tulip and a brown concrete, okay? And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come down to the doorway, okay? And we're going to place a red and a brick. We're going to go the same round we've gone all this time. So we're going to place a red and a brick here. And then we're going to stick it out, okay? And then we're going to place one more red and a brick. And then we're going to leave a gap of two and place a red and a brick, okay? We're then going to place one coming diagonally from that. So we're going to place it like that. And we're then going to place ourselves. Five going diagonally from this, we're going to take one, two, three, five, brick coming diagonally from that, with it coming up diagonally, and then we're going to go another three, one, two, three, with a doorway here, so we're going to knock out the middle block, and we want to take it out again, and then we want to place three, stick out again, and then off this block here you want to make five, so it's already one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then you want to place two diagonals, and then you want to make this one here five, so that's already one, two, three, four, five. You then you want to place one diagonal, make it three, one, two, three, another diagonal, three, one, two, three, another diagonal, five, one, two, three, four, five. Two more diagonals, make it five, that's going to be one, two, three, four. Five, stick out, then you're going to go by eight. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then stick it out by one, one, two, three, four, five, stick it out by two. There you go. And then you want to copy the exact same thing here where we're going to go by one, two, three, four, five, stick it out, place another five here. That's going to be, no, sorry, three this side, one, two, three. And place to get again, go one, two, three, stick out one, two, three, four, five, and you're going to stick out by two, and then from this, you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and stick out by one, and then go two, three, and you're going to go out by one like that, and then you're going to go one, two, then go out, and then go one, two, three, four, five, and you want to do two diagonals, and then that should connect exactly to the doorway like that. And that is actually the main area complete like that. Should look something like that, which would look quite good. And then all we're going to do is place birch block on top of all of this now. So we're going to place birch block on top of all of this. Actually, no, before we move on, we're going to place the walls for the next room. Okay, for this room here, what we want to do is we want to place coming off of this bit here, okay? So coming off of this block here, we want to place. We want the rooms to be one, two, five blocks long, okay? So we want the rooms to be five blocks long, so that's going to be one, two, three, four, five. So this is where we want the wall to go, okay? Then we want the wall to go and connect to... So if we, if we look at this side, we have, we're going to close up these blocks here, so we're fixing up any loose areas in that. And what we want to do is we want to connect it to the block after the pillar. So if you look at the pillar, you want to connect it there. That's going to be the size of the room that's the best to explain it. And I'm actually 
is real. I've gone completely wrong, guys. And I have gone and placed it on the wrong You place it on the wrong terracotta. I'm not going to get rid of what's underneath. I'm just going to leave it there. Do what I did. And place it there. You want to make sure that you place it one more off the ground. You've probably done the same with me if you're following me. But yeah, um. I've put a disclaimer before you start building to build one, but I will definitely do that. So you guys can not build the same thing I've done. So I'm just going to go around and all this now. There we go. Hold it up to there and do that. This is now going to make it even more confusing, but so I'll get, I'll get the flooring in next after this. Just so it's going to make it quite easier. Once you've got that, then we're then going to this side here. Yeah, we're going to do this side here. We're going to close up this wall here and close up that wall there. We're going to fix any loose bits there. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to connect it from here to there. Make sure it's five long and then connect it to there. It's quite simple, these walls really. Just connect it from there to there. There we go. And then do that. And that will be that room. Um, okay, so once you've done that, we're now going to do the walls. Okay, um, no we're not, we're going to do the flooring now, okay. Before we move on, we're going to do the flooring, okay. And in between the doors, make sure you get the same as me again, we're going to place a white terracotta, okay. And this one's going to be the same thing again, we're going to do single blocks. And this one is going to be between white terracotta and red um, never brick, okay. So in this one, there is a lot of never brick, okay. So again, I'm going to show you the first few rows. As hard as I've got the everything is like all cut up and that's good. Just fill up what we need to fill up. But yeah, um, all of this by red and brick or white terracotta, red and brick and white terracotta. No, this camera because I've always got to take it off. And this video is already over an hour. And then I'm going to place white terracotta with all of this. Place that all the way there. And then we're going to do that. And you want to do that all the way back. Okay? You want to fill up all of that area with that. Okay? And I'll be back in a minute with that. So once you've done that, it looks something like this. And what we want to do now is we want to place birch planks on top of all of the never brick, okay? The birch plank is going to go on top of all this never brick. All the way around, just like this. All birch wood planks. And then you can place never brick on top of all the birch, all the, um, Birch planks. Okay, so you just want to go all the way along here, like everywhere, and get on in terms of decoration. It's going to be the longest tutorial I've ever done. I think it's just taken up three ages just to do this. Now we're going to do that, and then we're going to do along here. There we go, and then we want to just fill up any other areas we've missed. There's a couple of areas down here. Fill them up with the birch plank, and then we're going to place never brick on top of all of that. Just like this. Remember, not above the elevator again because we, um, the blocks above the elevator. You can't put above the doors now, though. We're just going to go all the way down here, filling up every, any corner that we can. See it's open. Fill that up with birch uh, with never brick. Just like this, go all the way along with birch. 
like this, going all the way down here. What you want to do is you want to just go all the way down here with another brick. you've done that all we want to do now is make these two rooms in the middle okay then one's big and the other because I couldn't get it straight but what we want to do is from this pillar here we want to leave a gap of three and we want to place another pillar here okay so just make another pillar here actually no it's not a pillar so just make it um one red okay and then we're gonna go back by one and we go this way make it by three we're gonna go this way by three one Two, three, and we're going to place next to two and bring them forward. Then we're going to place three. Then we're going to place another one and extend it forward. Then we're going to place one on the end, okay? We're also going to place one on the end here. And then we're going to take this one and we're going to go backwards by. So we want to make sure we've got this one and we want to go backwards by. See if you extend it this way again by one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Extend this one here, that make it there, and then you want to extend this one here. So you're making like a three, and the same thing here. And if you extend this one back here as well, so it's going to go here, extend it back, and connect it to there. Okay, and you want to extend this bit here and that bit there, and then you also want to make sure you're extending. I mean, have we done that one wrong? Um, here we have. Whoops. So you don't you don't want that row there. We've done that row too early. You want to put this row going there, and then you want to move this one in there, move that one there, and then you want to put that one there and that one there. Okay. And then that one should sit three rows away from that as well. And that one should sit three rows away from that. So you got like a square room in the center of all of that. We want to make it so that this side up here is smaller than this side down um, down here. What we want to do is from these two big centre blocks, we want to put the wall on this one here, and we also want to place two there as well. We want to put the wall there. That's where the wall is going to go. Okay, and then the rest of it now you can fill up with your birch wood planks, just like this. And we can start the decoration. Okay, just want to do all of this. Like this. Going along here, I just realized that is wrong. So I'm going to go fix that in a minute. Do that like that. And then this section over here is a bit wrong. I'm going to move that one to there, okay? So you want to make sure that you've got the same shape on either cor each corner, like that, okay? And then also you want to add one pillar in between each one of these. So in the center of this, you want to add a pillar. And then in the center of this, you want to add a pillar, okay? So you're making that shape there. Place never brick, actually we've just got blue birch in the middle here. Place never brick for the birch again. Creating the same wall pattern again. Just like this all the way around. It should be the exact same through the entire city. There's always one colour in between two colours on top. So like a sandwich on every floor. I don't know. We just want to connect all of this together just like this. That going there, and then you want to connect this together, and then that is the walls done. Now, all we've got to do is the windows and the um, decoration. So, the windows there is load on the back, okay? You want to leave out the middle two, which are here, and you want to break out three here and three here, and then you want to break out these five here and these five there, like that, and then you want to place birch. Wood, there, 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 and there, and then you want to place the windows there. We're going to grab that blue glass, which we didn't actually get. We'll do that afterwards. 
um, brown concrete you can now place actually grab brown concrete out and you can place brown concrete on every one of these sets of five or three so in the middle of every one of these sets of five or three on every wall there's none there none on the back wall then you've got five here you've got three here three here five here you've got five here three here three here three here those are doorways and down here we'll add them in a minute three there so three here as well three here three here and then three here then we want to add these ones here which is going to be another three there doorway and you've got five here and you've got five here and three here like that okay that is going to be all of your um walls and that done and now what we're going to do is we're going to grab out the glass while we're here we'll just grab out the light blue stained glass i'm also going to add the doorway in a second I'm gonna... actually i'll do the doorways now so here you want to add the doorway there and then over here you want to add a doorway here the crouch spot is going to go right about here on this after this never break it's going to go right about there the windows are going to be the light blue stained glass again they're going to sit one block row behind all of that make sure there's no blocks in between actually actually yeah make sure there is blocks in between because it's happening on the other floor when they're connected you can actually see through so make sure there is no blocks in between otherwise you can see through make sure there is blocks in between i mean otherwise you can see through and as you can see no you can't so it makes it look a lot cleaner um yeah so right here make sure they're connected like this and also same thing over here. where was the other one then sure one somewhere. no okay i think it's the front windows actually already connected them um go directly above the cafeteria and the green one as well so you'll get these ones here go directly above the cafeteria and the green wall and they're going to go right here okay Let's stick them right there and then the same on the other side you're going to put these five here they're going to be windows and then you're going to do that and they have they're all windows in the um top floor what we're going to do now is we're going to work through these items so we've got the red concrete okay and red concrete is the first thing we're going to work through and there's a few places we've got to put this red concrete has got to go over here so we're going to go to start on this section over here and we're going to place red concrete right in here okay the red concrete there and there and then you'll place open doors either side of it. this one's empty there's nothing in that one okay we also want to place red concrete going here and here like that. and then you place iron bars iron doors i mean there and there just like that that one is going to be filled but we'll fill it later up with something um there is also one that's it okay that's all of the is Next thing you've got to do is place polished andesite going right to here to there like that and then you want to place birch ships birch wood there. We then want to place um, spruce wood planks. Okay, we're gonna do the spruce wood planks and actually grab out the next set of materials. So that we're not just flicking them black back and forth between them. Grab the next set of materials, and the next set we're going to grab now is going to be brown, um, spruce, block, button, flower pot, that, that. I can't remember the block name block names for them now. I've completely gone out of my recording zone. And we've got flower pot, blue orchid, birch trap door, smooth red sandstone stairs, end stone brick wall, and orange tulip. Okay. And we want to put the spruce planks going in the center here and in the center there and we want to do the same thing on the other side but one there. and then we also want to put one there and we want to place buttons on the front of them like that and like that there we go and then what we want to do is we just want to place flower pots on this one here this one here and this one here we want to make them all actually you can rotate between them if you want i'm going to make them alternate between them two there we go 
And then the next thing we can do is we can place some pillars. Uh, we'll do the pillars afterwards because we've got rid of the materials. Birch trap door. Now there is some like um pallets around the place. I think the best way to do is birch trap doors along the wall like that. Just flip them up. That makes them like that. And then where there's ones along the floor, you do the same thing, but you should put them on the floor, obviously. Um, in front of our room's door, which is here, you want to place the sandstone stairs. And you want to place some andesite stairs. We'll need a bit more andesite stairs, we don't use it all. I'll grab your andesite stairs and place it going from the corner of this to there. And then what we want to do is place sandstone stairs in the center there. And then in the center of these windows, sandstone walls like this. We're working through this quite quickly now. Um, place flower pots on all of these. And then you can alternate between these, but I've done it so it goes blue, orange, blue, orange. Because I think that's how it is in the real game. It's either that way or it's the other way around. Where the blues are, there's oranges. But I think that's how it goes. Um, there is boxes. Just got to place a few boxes here. We need that back now. Just got to place a few boxes, or one box here even. One, just one box there. On this wall, we want a lot of boxes here. Don't know, just place like that. And then what we can do is place another pallet to go right here. It's not going to be one that's on the floor. You see, it's just going to face down. And then we're going to place another pallet that's going to go here. And then we're going to have to place some pillars. And then that's everything, all the decoration outside. Then we've just got to do the decoration inside the rooms, okay? So what we're going to do now is just going to grab out your red and brick, birch, and brown terracotta. And we're just going to place these pillars one away. So we're going to go diagonally, one away from that one, and two away from that one. Okay. I shouldn't do that. And then we're going to leave a gap of one again diagonally do that, that and that whoops and that and then we're going to leave another gap of one diagonally and one like that and then we're going to need another one diagonally and we're going to do that with and then you, what you can do so i'm going through really quickly now as you can see pause if you feel pause if it's necessary i think it probably is um we've got a few more pillars to place just along here if you go level with this pillar that we placed here we want to leave a gap of four Place another pillar here. Um, red, birch, red. And then leave a gap of three. Place another one and then leave a gap of three. And then place another one here. And that should line up with that one there nicely, hopefully. And then what we've got to do is place brown terracotta on top of everything. Place brown terracotta on top of all of the red brick. Like all brown terracotta, and we'll place the roof after we've done the two four rooms. So we've done the end of the set problems we have to build. I will have two extra stools out, one have out of the outside place, and then one have how to make work elevators. Um, in the same place, then we'll be using the command block. If you don't have command blocks, then sadly you can't do it. Um, and what you want to do is just extend all of these, fill them all with brown terra. And you've got to fill up all of this with brown terracotta, just all of it. So yeah, we'll have one outside and one of how to make the working elevator. We'll be doing command blocks. So it does use command blocks, you but sadly you won't be able to do it. Um I was trying I was trying to make without command blocks, but then I figured it just wasn't possible. The one I made is pretty cool and it works quite nicely. Um yeah, we're just gonna fill up all of the area. Seems like going on forever. It feels it feels like it's like going on about random stuff. We'll fill up all of this with brown terracotta, and I think about the fifth time I've done it. Three, these last three pillars of brown, brown terracotta, and there you go.
there you go that is all of the um there's one more that's all of the brown terracotta placed and now we're going to on these last four rooms which won't take very long to do and the first room we're going to work on is going to be our room okay and all we're going to do is we're going to grab spruce that and spruce button would be flower and the flower put on the flower and in our room we're going to place spruce on this white terracotta here and spruce opposite that whoa and then we're going to place buttons on the front of them like that and then we're going to go into giraffe's room next door here and we're going to place one right here so one away from the crouch bottom right here and then we want to place flower pots on them with a blue in one and an orange in the other we'll sort that in a minute uh, we can place flower pots on both of ours i believe as well no not this one towards the crouch but we don't want on there we do want one of there and it wants to be a blue one so we want to just place that i'll quickly go grab the orange one here grab the orange one there we go and then we'll place the orange one in there okay um in, in zuzi's room i'm not sure if there's any of these there is in z's Let's see in zuzi's room because we're not one in zuzi's though so in here we're just going to do one completely opposite this pillar, so like bang on opposite that pillar, you want to place one there, and then one on the next block here, you want to place it at one like that, and then you want to place that's it for that, okay? You're gonna place these, obviously, you want to place them on there, just like that. You then want to place flower pots, I believe, on there, but I don't know if I'm gonna add them or not. I don't think I add them. Okay, what we want to do is we want to grab out wool okay we're going to grab out a few different colors of wool for each room okay we're going to grab for our room brown wool okay for our room we're going to grab brown wool for giraffe's room we're going to grab yellow wool for z and zuzi's room we're going to grab pink wool and for zuzi's room we're going to grab purple wool okay and we're going to grab brown we're going to put this going from there to there. Going across like this to um, brown wool. Same thing and everything else. The only one that's different to this is to be giraffes, okay, which is right here. And it's just going to be from this block here to. Yellow wood. I did realize you did destroy that, so I shall quickly replace it. Like that, and then we're going to place yellow wood there. Once you've got that, that will be the giraffes one. Z and Zoodies is going to go from the. Which one is it? This one. No, from this pink, this white to the very end, I believe. Is it the very end one? Um, no, to this one here. This is not quite a small one. Just gonna sit here, like that. And then, I'm sure it's longer than that. I'm sure it's longer than that. Oh no, don't have done this wrong. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Definitely not done that wrong, have I? No. Um, okay, that's right. One, two. Oh no. That's right. That's good. Don't know where it's gone wrong then. Oh, have I done it? Oh, I've done two. Oh, that's where I've gone wrong. The floor I've done wrong. Okay, so the floor I've done wrong. I should replace it all with white and I'll figure it all out. I thought, that, I thought there was something weird, but it's like nothing a bit mapped up for some reason. Show all of these again. Uh, and then we can replace them with red again. We'll figure out where they go correctly. There, 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 um, there, there. Uh, nope. There. Um, uh, 
is we can place wait a minute is that meant to be one extra no that is it what we're going to do now is we're going to place a purple one in Zizzy's room and this purple one is going to go from don't place this one wrong as well boy. No. purple one we wanted to go from this one here is this one here no from this was difficult it's finding out what block it actually goes off of so it goes off of so it's three away from the edge, so it's gonna be on this row here somewhere. I think it goes off there, yeah. It's gonna go there and it's gonna go three. Three and this one's gonna go right to here. Okay, so that can be right. And then what we want to do is we want to place I'm sure there's a I'm sure there's um Thing in here somewhere there must be i think there is i think there's one on this wall here i'm going to place it there i don't know if where if it's correctly if it's there correctly but i have to do i'll definitely remember putting a painting above one i'm going to put that there okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab the beds okay so we're doing this a bit of a weird fashion moment because we're doing them like all um different times but what we're going to do now is we're going to grab the four different color beds or five different color beds even now what we're going to do is we're going to grab out Purple bed, magenta bed, pink bed, cyan bed, um, dark blue bed, and six beds even then. Dark blue bed and a yellow bed, okay? The yellow bed is going to be our bed. It's going to go here in this room. The cyan bed is George's bed. It's going to go Giraffe's bed is going to go on this back wall just right there. Zizzy's bed is going to go on this wall in here, like that. Z and Zizzy's bed is going to go here, we're going to have a pink one here, and a magenta one there, okay? They are all the beds in the top of this floor, and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab out. Now we're going to grab out the shulker boxes. So these are going to be the suitcases. There's none in Zizzy's room. We only have them in the other rooms. We have a blue shulker box, a dark blue shulker box, a brown shulker box, we have a yellow shulker box, and then we have pink and magenta shulker box, okay? And in our room we're going to place a yellow and brown one, okay? And we're going to place the brown one, not a yellow and a brown, a blue and a brown. There's a blue one there and a brown one there. Room is a blue one and a yellow one. In Zuzu's room, we're going to place three suitcases. So we're going to place a pink one right there, we're going to place a magenta one right there, and then we're going to place a pink one here. Yeah, wait a minute. Does that have to be moved up by one now? Then? No. Where have I gone wrong now? Um, I was there, yeah. I was there. I went two blocks away then. I'm so confused right now. Uh, I was there. I was there. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, um, I was there. That's fine. I was there, yeah. Okay, odd. Oh, I see. I see, so. Oh, yeah, I, I know where I've gone wrong. I've got, I know where I've gone wrong. Someone's got to go there. And then this one is going to have to go there. That's where I went wrong. The next thing we want to do is we want to place. This, um, we want to grab out birch trapdoors.
and we want to place them in Zuzi's room on this wall here. Put it here and then we want to place another one in Zizi's room on this back wall here. I just realised it sticks out, it doesn't sit flat. Um, does it does it sit flat? I don't know. It sits flat, doesn't it? I've got, I've got them sit flat, it looks better when they sit flat. Now we're going to do the cupboards, okay? And this is going to be the last thing of this actual tutorial other than the roof. And what we're going to do now is we're going to grab out spruce trapdoor. We're going to place spruce trapdoor. Um, the first one we're going to do is going to be in our room. I mean, nice and simple, it's going to be on this back wall here. We're going to place it going from George's bed, which is going to be one, two, oh, come on. It's going to be one, two, three. And you can set them all off like that, and then you can do one, two, three, three, then one, two, three, just like that. And then we can do one in Giraffe's room. The one in Giraffe's room is going to go from, this one's going to be a little bit smaller because he's got a smaller room. It's going to go from, oh, I, can't, I really can't do that, can I? Go from there, there, and there, like that. And then we're going to do another one in Giraffe's room going from there, on there, and there. Do that, and then we just want to place some bottom, bottom half of the blocks there, there, there. Zine Zuzi is going to go on this back wall here, and it's going to be, it's going to sit in this middle, it's going to be these three blocks long, so it's going to go one, two, three, like that, and then we're going to do another one here, one, two, three, and then we're going to place it on the bottom half of the blocks like that. Now the one that's going to be a little bit harder is Zuzi, and it's because it's at an angle, okay, and I've tried to do this, it kind of come out well, I guess. And what we're going to do first is we're going to place trapdoors. So I believe if they do that, they close up back. So we want to place trapdoors here and here. Okay, and we want to place them up and up. Then we're going to make sure we get these ones going up to the top. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then we also want to place the same thing going here. Another one there, another one, oh, I can do this right, another one there, 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 no. there we go, and then we want to do that, that's going to be the cupboard's, going to be cupboard angle, there's so you're going to place one going here and here, two, three, you've got to place one here, one, two, three, and you've got to place one going from there to there to there, there to there to there, there there, and there, like that. And I believe you've got the cupboard there done. That's the cupboard done. It's a little bit confusing to make, but once you made it, it looks really cool. And then actually, guys, you've actually completed. Well, actually, no, I'm not going to say it yet. You've almost completed it. Okay. All we're going to do now is we're going to grab the andesite. We're going to place these here. That one and. That one, place one there, and we're going to place one there. I'm going to place the andesite here, like that. And then once you've done that, we can then connect this across the top, just like that. And then we have to use the roof, okay? And I'm going to go get the material for it because I actually looked at what the roof is yet. So, oh, wait, wait, wait one second, guys, before we go. This shulker box thing's got to be sitting here. We need a pink box, a green shulker box, and a dark blue. We've already got two of them, so we're going to place a pink one there. We're going to place a dark blue one here, okay? We're also going to need a dark green one, so we're just going to grab out a shulker box. And then we're going to put it dark green, and then we're going to put that there, okay? And then the roof for the safe place will be... Um, So guys, what we're going to do is we're going to take the roof out of the roof of the back, okay? We're going to fill up all of this on the part of the, um, um, fill up the space slab, so it looks something like that, okay? It will look quite 
for the end, I'm not going to get this on camera again because it's going to take too long. I'm just going to connect a few of these just to the first section actually. So I'll go up to here and I'll do some tutorials. What I'm going to do is literally just fill everything down, everything on the part around the part. Same thing where it's going to just pop up a block, fill it up like this, and then afterwards, pull it nice. Hopefully, light will through the spruce slab because it's only a floor. Don't need any light on this top floor. Look at that, it's quite nice at the end. And then you should fill up everywhere with the spruce. So, like I said, I'm going to get it on camera because it's way long. I'll just show you. I'll just show you so there you have it um, fill up everything there and i will show you what it looks like when it's completed so once you complete it, it will look something like this which looks quite nice everything inside. we've got the giraffe room here looks good 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 we have all of these rooms we have our room which is looking nice here and then we have all of this area here we have the zzz room and then we have the zizzy's room through here looks good okay that is everything we need to do there's a couple of pages you could add but i forgot where i put them so i've not put them in um you will have to add these oh, i did forget to add these blackstone buttons just add these on this door and then add them on the door downstairs as well so down in here as you'll see now this room is now very dark so you will want to add lights um I will show you what the entire thing looks like all together when we have done the bonus two parts. Okay, there's going to be two parts bonus, which is going to be one doing the outside, one doing the elevator. And yeah, make sure the stage is there for a complete safe house. I will be doing a winter holiday map soon, and I will also be doing chapter four when that releases. So, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did like, did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to never miss another video. And I will see you guys in the next part. Goodbye.